All right, let me go ahead and tell you all this. Um, go ahead and download this. Upload it to your channel if you have a channel. If you have, obviously, most people have social media. Upload it to your social media because I can pretty much guarantee this video will be pulled likely within the day. All right? A new um, study just came out. A very big study, actually, considering a study showing that um, this CV virus, <laughs> virus, <coughs> you know, this thing that's going on is not contagious. At least not from people that have tested positive to people that have cancer, that have heart disease and all these other things that have been, um, I'm going to get into it. So there was 455 people in this study. That's a pretty big study for something that just comes out like this. Okay. And you're probably saying who would do that? A lot of people would do that. If you're on your last leg, you're like, heck yeah, I, you know, I'm going to help humanity. I, yeah, go ahead and expose me to it and let's see what happens. And that's what happens. Or they pay them. Um, there's different ways of doing it. And there's people that do this every, everywhere. They have uh, even hotels, like uh, it's hospital hotels, where they do these type of things. And they expose people to different, different things to test this. This is essentially the only way to get good data. So this is a great study. All right. So they exposed someone that tested positive for this uh, strand that people are currently um, losing their livelihood over, not their lives, their livelihood over, and because they think that it's it's uh, contagious and they're wearing masks looking like um, a bunch of people that have been indoctrinated into a satanic occult situation okay I won't go off on that but that's exactly what masks are you can look it up yourself it's it's to show submission in every single satanic and occult group they do those type of ceremonies everyone it's it's a mask they, they use these masks it's a sign of submission anyway an ongoing outbreak of the corona disease 19 Y'all know I have to talk like this. I'm trying to not get it pulled as soon as possible. Has spread around the world. It is debatable whether asymptomatic carriers are contagious. We report here a case of the asymptomatic patient and present clinical characteristics of 455 contacts. Which, y'all, these were not just, oh, they ran into these people at the, at the grocery store. No which aims to study the ineffectivity of the asymptomatic carriers. That is these people that they're trying to terrify you about. You see, we all realize, okay, if somebody's sick, let's stay away from them. But the way they've bumped this up is to talk about these asymptomatic carriers. Um, these people that have it, but they don't know it, and they're going to give it to you. That's what's made everybody like act like crazy people because if you do get this you're probably going to be at home sick in your bed because I do know there are people that have had it and it was a really bad cold really bad flu okay anyway material methods 455 contacts who were exposed to the asymptomatic corona uh, virus became the subjects of our research they were divided into three groups 35 patients 196 family members and 224 hospital staff members we extracted their epidemiology inf epidemiological information clinical records auxiliary examinations meaning they did examinations before um, they had these uh, trials done the median contact time for patients was four days. Four days. Not, oh, we walked into Walmart or we sat in church together. No, no. Four days. And that for family members was five days. Think about this. In the same hotel or hospital room, whatever, for four or five days. Okay. Cardiovascular disease accounted for 25% among original diseases of patients. So these people, the patients already had cardiovascular disease. 
All right. And then they had this person that tested positive for COVID walk around, hang out with these people, this and that. All right. Apart from hospital staff, both patients and family members were isolated medically during the quarantine. Seven patients plus one family member appeared to have new respiratory symptoms where fever was the most common one. The blood counts in most contacts were within normal range. All CT scans, that is a CAT scan, you know, they image you, um, y'all know what that is, showed no signs of COVID. Huh. Uh huh. No severe acute respiratory syndrome of this infection was detected in 455 contacts by a nucleic acid test, which is much more accurate than the PCR whatever test they're doing. Okay, in conclusion, in summary, all 455 contacts were excluded for. Yeah, excluded from the from the infection. They did not have it. And in conclusion, that the ineffectivity of some asymptomatic carriers might be weak at best. At best, it's weak. But in reality, what it looks like is non-existent. Non-existent asymptomatic carriers okay if somebody's going around coughing and you know all of these things it obviously sick with fever and and all of these things that that that's different but this is what we need to be concerned with because this is what they're trying to scare you with is these oh the asymptomatic people that that could have it but we would we don't know it which is just complete garbage. And anybody scientifically minded, biologically taught, knows that that is the craziest thing ever. It, it just truly is. I mean, you, you literally have to, like, swap blood to get asymptomatic transmission. And that's why the HIV situation was such a big deal because, yes, that's that's exactly how you get it. And that, and you know what? That's exact. That that is a good. Um, um, what am I thinking of? Comparison. You know, because back then when we first found out about HIV, it was like, oh my gosh, we have no idea how people can get this. You might be able to get it just from being in the room with these people. You know, people were like afraid. Oh, oh my gosh, how we get this? Can you get it by eating off of their utensils? Just crazy stuff. Because that's what we thought at the time. And then we realized, uh, no, you literally have to, I know this is going to sound gross, but swallow like a gallon of their saliva. To even be possibly connected to it. And then y'all know how it's transmitted. Needles. other Otherwise. Okay. And because most, most HIV patients in the beginning are asymptomatic. And so the only way to get any type of asymptomatic transmission. It is like literally getting a pint of their blood or, or sharing needles with them. And so to even think that a respiratory, not this isn't a blood disease, this is a respiratory, would be just astronomical to think that an asymptomatic person could give this to you because they're not shedding the virus. They're just not. We did see some, some uh, pre-symptomatic shedding going on with Ebola. Um, not uh, not so much pre, but actually post. People that had been technically cleared of Ebola, they were still we were still seeing shedding in that. Um, but that was post, not pre. Sorry, I meant post. So after they had been cleared of it, they were still technically symptomatic two year up to two years later, and that was in their testes, in spinal fluid, um, in their eyes and obviously in their blood okay and it was shutting from their lungs it per a couple studies but th this this is not happening in in this case this has never happened in any respiratory case that we're aware of and that's 
good that they did this study because they know how crazy it is. The emergence of the corona since early December 2019 has spread many countries recently and sparked worldwide pandemic via mass gatherings. Uh, sure. Um, actually, research shows that almost all of the people that got it were the people that locked up that were locked up in their high-rise apartments, but I digress. Um, it has been proven, it has been proved that the pathogen COVID is severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, which has a high hemoglobin with SARS, similar, blah, blah, I'm not going to go through all this. I think you'll get what I'm saying. Um, and see, they, they go on to talk about the Diamond Princess, but, you know, those people were not asymptomatic. They were clearly symptomatic. However, there were family members that were in the same room on the Diamond Princess that one family member got it and the other one did not. So, to go on such a, a limb to say that asymptomatic people are shedding this is astronomically insane and they know it and that's why all of these people have been walking around without their masks until they said oh you know what let's switch it up let's go ahead and tell them let's tell them that they all gotta wear masks that is gonna be funny let's do it yeah and that's what they did because all of these doctors that were not wear masks said not to wear masks Sur general the surgeon general who says nope all right, sorry y'all. So um, I'll leave you this link and you can uh, check it out yourself. Actually, uh, thanks to Corey X, Corey Man X, he put this out earlier today. Y'all check out his channel. He's doing a lot of great work um, with the helping to open up businesses. I'm actually in Texas right now. Um, but anyway, it's it's exactly what all logical thinking people thought we all thought this was crazy to say that asymptomatic people were actually um, carriers uh, actually spreading this it's it's just silly they know it the and the the quote unquote controlling people know it uh, if this was truly spread asymptomatically they would have shut down the mail they would have shut down the store the stores wouldn't have been open McDonald's would not be open you know all of these things would not be open and so I mean it, it's just a shocking to me that you know what I'm, I'm gonna say the, the rest later because we've got things to do but this is this is crazy I mean it it's good but it's just so many businesses have been ruined over this nonsense Y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe.